got about 10 seconds to go and as I said you want to keep a close eye on your spread starting to see some uh, quite a bit of movement here just before the data all right so we got a a really nice trade here on this particular one as you can see uh, I'm already out of the first um, I'm already completely out. <laughs> it's already completely closed me out. You can see that um, my initial entry was here. Uh, 06, it looks like, is where my first stop. I'll have to look and see the management. It happened so fast. These are the kind of trades that, uh, that are kind of nice. Um, looks like I got in with all four lots. Closed out my first at... Uh, all right, I'll talk about that in a minute. Guys, let me know where you're at on this. If you are still in it, um, and you're you're still have open trades. I would I would suggest closing out half of it, and uh, making sure that you've locked in on the rest. And uh, this one seems to be pushing down pretty strong. We have quite a bit of deviation here. This is substantial deviation, so this is worth holding if you have some in the market still. In a uh, one eleven thirteen uh, out at one ten seventy on two separate accounts. Good. Who's who's still in? If you just let me know. 31 pips and out, good. The reason Oracle said conflicting data is because the revisions are in opposition. However, the reason I wasn't concerned with it and I didn't mention it was because the data is uh, such a substantial deviation that the revisions really aren't going to have that big of an impact on the market. 30 pips in the first half, 34 in the second half, good. 38 pips. <laughs> Closing out manual because you forgot to add a zero, that's fine. 48 and 45 pips, got 42 pips, plus 48, good.